You know, Sam. I made you nut. I made so how can you talk shit? Get it together. Get it the fuck together. It's Hot 107.5, home of the morning heat. Big Greg, foolish and delicious. You're locked in right now to hot in the streets. Uh, I go by the name of You Know Sale. Salute my sis, Aikisha Baker, one time. And we got one of two winners from the Sip and Shop Showcase. She goes by the name of Nisha Nache. How you doing, lady? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Good. So, look, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of just get to know you, man. You're kind of fresh to the scene. Mm-hmm. Um, so, can you give some give the people just a little bit of background about Nisha Nache? Um, I'm from the south side of Ypsilanti. I'm 18 years old because, you know, people often think I'm way older than that. Okay. I've been doing this for a while now. No. You got you got the record out. Don't push me. This is our first look from you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So how does it feel to have the success that you've been having with this record? It's humbling because I never would have thought I heard hear my voice on the radio. You know, I'd mm-hmm. be in the car hearing myself and... I mean, it's a it's a wonderful experience, and I'm enjoying every every minute of it that I've had so far. All right, so look, we're gonna jump right into it. With this record, came a lot of comparison between you and Dej Loaf. How do you feel about that comparison? That's also humbling mm-hmm. to be compared to Dej Loaf, you know, of all people. But um, she also sets a, a high bar for other female artists to give them something to accomplish, something big. You know, mm-hmm. shows me what I can do and how big I can really go. So it's exciting to have someone to compare to. That's definitely what's up. But like for me, I personally feel like it's just the voice tone that's similar more than anything. So um, can you tell people a little bit more, you know what I mean, about you? Like personally, like growing up in Ypsilanti, what are some of the things you've been through in order to even get to this point? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I've been through it all. That's probably probably why it seems like I'm older than I am, you know, an elder in, in mind. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, I guess being raised on the south side of Ypsilanti is 10 times different than being raised on the east side of Detroit. Mm-hmm. But um, I still have my struggles and my uh, trials and tribulations that I've overcome, you know, as far as uh, losing a parent mm-hmm. and uh, being adopted, you know. Um, I mean, it, it goes far and far. That's something, right. to, you know, learn along the road. But it's a lot to it, you know. So how does all that play into your writing? Well, being adopted never really played a part in in my writing because um, my guardians haven't really had any participation in what I do. It's kind of just been me. But um, I kind of just everything is expressed on paper. That's all. That's really all I have, you know. Definitely. So with that being said, how did you even start rapping? And I know you also sing as well. Well, my dad, he he actually tried to be a rapper at one point. Mm -hmm. But um. I didn't get very far, but I figured, you know, I should be the one to take that tie because music runs in the family, runs large in the family, singing and and writing, poetry, intelligence, all of that. So I kind of just took the toll and went forward with it. Mm. Outside of the single um, that you have now, I'm pretty sure you're in the studio, you know. Absolutely. What's next for, for Nisha and the Shade? Um, well, I want to see more people involved. I want to see, you know, dance moves and videos and um, people singing a the song themselves. And I love when I go to shows and I perform Don't Push Me and all everybody in the crowd, you know, rapping along with me. It's so exciting. But, um, I mean, we got, we got a... a new competition coming up for i don't know if we're just going to do it in uh belleville high school or you know surrounding areas but we're going to do the uh, iphone giveaway Mm -hmm. for the person that does the best instagram video for don't push me okay so we got a flyer for that we got the little cd that got the clean and dirty version of don't push me on it and that's probably a major thing you know yeah where can they where can they find you at on the social networks uh instagram twitter you got you got a uh you got snapchat keek all that type of stuff i just have uh instagram twitter and facebook Okay, where can they find you at on those? Find me on Twitter and Instagram. They're the same as Nisha Nisha, N-E-I-S-H-A, Nisha. And my Facebook is also Nisha Nisha. All right, so look, let's give some people in they whip a chance to participate in the contest. They might possibly make a video right now. So right. go ahead and introduce the single for them one time. What's up, bitch, your girl, Nisha Nisha? Let me see you on your Instagrams posting those 15-second videos of my single, Don't Push Me. I want to see dance moves. Let me see you holler the lyrics. Hashtag Don't Push Me and tag me. Let's get it cracking. Mm-hmm.